Get busy in here, get busy in here Yeah, my squad run deep, yeah, we really in here I swear whatever you want, you can get it in here Comedy or the drama, it's a mixture in here But you love it in here, yeah, you love it in here Got reviews up in here, we got stories in here Hit the like, hit the sub, hit the bell, oh yeah Three clicks like the shoes on Dorothy in here What's up everybody, it's your boy Busy Blue and I am back I'm uh, heading home Decided to do another video. I'm trying my best to get into these videos, 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 videos. So, um, let's just talk about some hot topics. So, first I'm going to talk about, um, I am thinking about doing Love and Marriage, huh? uh, Love and Marriage DC. Now, I know Street Fighter Samuels, Hayuka Samuels, K.O. Samuels, Mike Tyson Samuels. Finish him Samuels. Finish him Samuels. Flawless Victory Samuels is going to drag her down Samuels. Do you want me to Samuels is going to. She didn't deserve that Samuels. I got it in my binder right here Samuels. They were talking about my family Samuels. Um, did not want to come back. Um, I did not want to come back to the Real Housewives of Potomac. Um, I was watching um, uh, Jamie That's Me. Shout out to Jamie That's Me. And I was listening to uh, snippets of uh, the podcast that the one, the only Carlos, the king, um, um, has where they were talking to each other and um, how she did not want to come back to um, reality TV. The one who I must drag you across the wine table down to the winery in a barn who gets triggered by barns, gets triggered by wine glasses, gets triggered by people dancing in front of them. That one, she said that she had reality TV PTSD. Not, not, no, sorry. Y'all must think I be talking. I'm talking about the one who got dragged and beat up. No, 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 not her. Because y'all said it was inappropriate for the one who got beat up, dragged, and stomped, and then people to talk about them viciously on the internet. Y'all said it was inappropriate for her to go to therapy, to have sticky notes to give her some motivation. Y'all said that was not okay. Um, but the one who beat her up, she said she had PTSD. She had PTSD, okay? So she... You know, and I'm not going to minimize the girls' struggles, you know, because I understand, you know, everybody's traumas and what's going on. But y'all, okay, um, I think the one who beats the person up, I guess those are the ones that have the most trauma. So she said that she was having PTSD and she didn't think she was really going to come back. Um, she actually said she traveled out of the country or something to try to fix her ma or out of the state to try to fix her marriage because things was going on or something like that. Right. So she was talking to Carlos King and Carlos was just trying to get her to do TV. She said she's not sure she wanted to do TV yet. Right. And y'all, I don't got no notes. I'm just going off of what I remember. So if some of this stuff is wrong, okay, put it in the comments. Okay, and then keep listening. And hit the like button, subscribe. Keep me up to date, okay? That's your job. So she then she said, you know what? I think what I'm going to do is come on to the show. And she said, lo and behold, she decided that once she got on, that's when her marriage troubles finally happened. Because what she was saying was that when she was on Potomac, they was like, oh, your your wife, your life is too picture perfect. We need to see more of the issues. We don't got no issues. And it's the same relationship where your friend said that the father of the baby was the baby daddy. He was mad that you was spending, your husband was mad that you was spending all that money on that podcast, not for lucky moms or not for lazy moms. I'm going to beat you up because you're not a good mother or brand, whatever that brand is. Um, um, he was mad because you were spending all that money. He was like, you may need to uh, slow it down. And you say, I can't tell my husband how much money we spend. Y'all remember y'all overspent for that live show, but there's no issues in the marriage. Um, his whole mama wasn't even talking to you and called you a heifer, but there's no issues in the marriage. Okay. Um, we, they got to prove to the world to come out here and fight in the world because maybe there was some infidelity going on between who's the, who was the baby daddy. And they said, you, you was out there with the trainer, but now you're going to got to train anymore, but there's no problems in the marriage. Okay. And, um, y'all, you, I wasn't going to show that on Potomac because there was no problems. People are upset that we don't have a picture perfect marriage. Every marriage is not picture perfect. And now just all of a sudden, poof, y'all got the problems. Now that y'all on Love and Marriage DC, y'all got the problems. So I'm I'm only watching. Well, one I want to see um, the other couples. You know, I think isn't DJ Quicksilver on it? I have no idea what's on it. Um, I think DJ Quicksilver is on it, and his wife. Yes, see. 
Uh, but I, there's a lot of DC natives and names that I definitely do know. So I want to see that. And there's something about, so I remember when I first wanted to start a blog. I remember when Straight From The A came out. DJ Quicksilver. Okay, and I remember that when I was, I used to watch Straight From The A or listen to, read Straight From The A. And I was like, why isn't there a DC brand? Because there's a lot of stuff that happens in DC. Um, and I think a lot of it is because the, the, the people aren't really getting put on like that in this area. And I do think that the District of Columbia is like full of like talent, Pers definitely personalities. The people here are crazy. The girls are here are crazy. It's full of personality. It's full of um, um, uh, just there's a historic richness to it. There's definitely a big, a deep culture in it. This same place that they had a coke. Uh, hey, who was the mayor for the longest time? Like you got, you have to give him credit. And even when the scandal came out, they wanted to re, um, they wanted to elect him again. Like there, there, there's something here in this city. <laughs> there's something here, and I want to make sure that we are, I'm promoting the city and putting it on because there's a lot of Atlanta shows and there's a lot of. I'm glad that he's putting on these other markets, but DC has a very rich history and culture and i want to make sure that i am helping and promoting that okay um so you know i want to do as much as i can and putting that on now i may not be the biggest fan of monique samuels but i'm gonna give a girl a chance on this show as long as she's keeping her hands to herself in this on this show i will be watching it um y'all know i did not have any problems with monique until the fight um, that, you know, the world became divided and I chose my side and my side was on the one of the person who was like, okay, good night, go to sleep. The one who was dancing. I was the, the one who, the girl who was dancing got beat up. I was on her side. Still am, did, will do it again. Okay. Um, but, um, I ain't never had a no problem with Monique Samuels. I feel like who she should have been beating up is one of the green eye bandits. If she was going to fight and I don't condone violence, but if she was going to fight and she wanted me to say, okay, I can see why you did that. It should have been to Giselle, the one she was sitting down and eating with. This is not a real house house of Potomac thing. But um, I think I will watch it with her on it. Just because I want to see uh, the other marriages and couples. I feel like it's too late for me to catch up to my love and marriage, Huntsville. I know y'all been wanting me to watch it. Y'all been wanting me to be invested. I feel like it's just too, it's too late. I feel like it's too late. And I don't want to... I don't, I don't want to. Um, so... I am gonna try with this one. Um, you know, I have lived in DC for a very, very long time. I'm almost, you know, I feel like a local. Um, even though they don't like to be called that. Um, but you know, I know the area, so hopefully I can see some of the areas that they in. I'll let y'all know if they really in DC because people have such a problem with people talk about Potomac, but nobody living in Potomac except for Carolyn and Monique Samuels. Yet she's in Love and Marriage DC. Make it make sense. Um, but the girls are like, you don't even live in Potomac. You're out here in Great Falls. This person lives out here. Now, Robin don't live in Potomac, okay? She used to. You remember that house she had, but then they got foreclosed on. Now she lives out in the ghetto. Um, I think she lives in Hanover. I know Giselle, she lives in M Montgomery County. Um, which I think, did we? I think Potomac is in Montgomery County. Or is it? Be, we, we, we go through that back and forth. Either way, um, I think... Um, uh, Giselle lives out there by um, where the white people's at. Um, and then Karen, she lives there. Ashley lives in Alexandria, Virginia. She lives she lives by me. Ashley lives by me. So the, the people wasn't in Potomac. And everybody has such a hoopla. Now we got Love and Marriage DC, but the, unless the, unless Monique moved, is it still Love and Marriage DC? Now DJ Quicksilver is a big name in DC, since I've been living here, I know I've been I've known about DJ Quicksilver. That's a, that's a hands down. Now, have I ever been invested in his life? No. But when the music come on, it's over for the girls. It's over the girls. When DJ Quicksilver start when it, now it is over for the girls. Now I've never been invested in DJ Quicksilver's life, but it is I am excited about seeing more about it. I did see some things here and there. It looked like one of the friends of the show is the one who's about to get the party started. If we being honest, I don't know the show. I've just seen clips here and there. But from what I did see, it looked like one of the friends of the show is the girl who's about to get the party started. Come on, Marlo Hampton, substitute. It looked like one of the friends of the show is about to get the party started. So I was watching one of my videos comments. And somebody was like, you know, I've only known you from the candy and the game recaps. But what I will say is that you could talk. I don't even think you'd be taking breaths.
So I think I'm gonna watch the show, y'all. I say all that to say that I think maybe I will watch the show, give it a try. Y'all put it in the comments. Do y'all think that I should watch the show? Will you be watching the show? What things are you interested in watching the show? If Carlos King was gonna come up with another franchise, where should their franchise go? Okay. Um, I was seeing the trap because I wanted to um, give y'all some other news and updates, but we're like moving. Well, it's kind of, some or sort of. Um, the next thing that I wanted to talk about was um, I heard that um, there was well, one. I don't know. Can you look up really quickly? What is the Lovers and Friends Festival? Did Little John and Usher go on tour? Because uh, I guess there was a shooting at the Lovers and Friends Festival, and then there was a, um, a whole lot of people being trampled. This is why I only go to small venue standard uh, standing only concerts because and I definitely don't go to festivals. Okay, the artists that I like, we go to the House of Blues. We go to a, a standing room only things where I can get a cocktail real quick, push my way through to get up to the front and watch JoJo. <laughs> that's like this whole page for this this smaller paragraph. And watch JoJo sing because those ads. And watch JoJo sing live, okay? Um, watch Kehlani sing live. And we got to go to Kehlani. We got to get those tickets soon because Kehlani is going live. But they said there was a shooting at the uh, Lovers of Friends Gunfire thing. was reportedly heard, which caused people to start. Also, maybe nobody even shot a dang thing. So, allegedly, somebody... Yeah, from, from this, it's like it was a false alarm. That somebody was eating Pop Rocks and the girls started running. Um, oh, yeah. And then also, can you look up Britney Spears thing? Y'all, so then I also had news on this is my assistant for today. today. Um yeah, I never used it before. Um the I, I heard prayers out to Britney Spears. I saw on TMZ that Britney Spears allegedly suffered from a miscarriage. Uh and that must be so difficult. I wonder if I'm sure it's with her new partner. Yes, this I don't know if I've seen this person before. This is it's a new, it's no, her new man, and I guess she came up about it. When did this happen? Oscar, it was announced 22 hours ago. That's when these articles were written. It was announced 22 hours ago. So prayers up to Britney Spears. It's very frustrating out here, where in a world there's there's people who are really trying to become mothers, they, they, and they want that. And you know, Britney tried to move on with her life. And she's trying to live her because I I think Feder, Kevin Federline has the other children um, full time. He lives with them, um, so I don't think she even has her family full time. And she just got her independence. I think now she's like, look, I'm about to be the person. I'm about to grow up and be the woman I want to be, and this gives her a chance. And you know, with the stress and all of this stuff, like, you know, prayers out to her. I want her womb to get right where it need to be so she can pop out whatever however many babies she wants to with her husband. I just hope that this man is not cash grabbing. I think I'm I'm very protective of Britney Spears at this point in time. I was listening to her uh, the right now. I want her to be extremely careful because, you know, we love Britney Spears. And I wonder that if she really starts to, you know, have a baby maturing and all this stuff, where her voice get, getting a little deeper because this childlike voice is, uh, you know, a signal of childhood trauma that she still hasn't gotten past and she's still acting like her younger self. And I want her to get become the woman that she wants to be. So... I was trying to talk to y'all because there was traffic, but now I got out of the traffic, so this is about to be another short video. I don't know, y'all. I wasn't trying to make any of these videos this short, but this is what I'm going to have to do. So, y'all, tell me, one, put your prayers out to Britney Spears, you know. Hopefully, you know, bless bless her womb and make sure she can, you know, um, conceive and have as many children as she wants to. You know, high fertility for her. Um, thoughts and prayers out to the girls who thought they heard gunshots, but was really, there was nothing, allegedly. Um, and will y'all be watching Love and Marriage DC, okay? And are y'all excited about it? Um, I think what I'm going to do is maybe y'all will get a review today. I think what I'll do is go home immediately. Well, I'm not going to say immediately and watch it because I want to go make, I'm going to make meatloaf tonight. So I think what I'm going to do is go to the store and then uh, make the meatloaf and then watch the show while the, while the meatloaf is cooking. Um, but we'll see. If y'all want to know more about me and everything stuff going on, you can find me on Instagram and on Twitter, Busy Blue, no space, no E. You can also find me on Twitch, Busy Blue, where I am not streaming hate live streams or hate, or hate crimes. I'm about to go get busy and you all stay busy. Until uh, next time. Bye.